let's see let's not make some apprentice mistakes here uh, what I'm going to talk about is not the lubricant or grease to use on your o-ring so you don't scuff them and peel them back or nothing but we're going to talk about tightening fittings now you have those peanut type fittings that are the aluminum block and they have the bolt going in them and the guys line them up and they tighten them down and they pinch the o-ring or they over tighten them so in this style you have the ones that you're going to use a wrench on so now i have this on here i tighten it by hand and it's nice and tight now and so i should be able to hit a wrench on it and just go to town on it and take up the threads going all the way down and it'll tighten up and it'll be good right well not so fast charlie uh let's take a look at this a little careful carefuler ah oh, shoot where's my english um look at how many threads we have here and we almost have all the threads here that's telling me that the shoulder of that is not all the way down if you take a look at that you see how deep that is how far that should go down well if you have this tight by hand and if you actually count the threads there and count the threads there and you can see that they're almost identical you're only on like one thread one and a half threads or so that's telling you that this did not go down all the way straight not all the way like this at an angle and then you tightened up on the high shoulder not sitting up on the lip right there see that little lip that ledge in there you can actually get on top of there and tighten this down and think you're there and then you put a wrench and you start tightening and you start pulling down on the upper lip of this welt right here and it starts crushing between that side and one of two things happen you break it and you notice it or you don't break it and your wrench starts tightening up on there but you're stuck way out here but tight you're nowhere down in there nice and level all the way around level you're not like that so this is tight so now I could get my wrench on there and tighten down let's take a look at this let's go in reverse order and do a preventive a preventive it's tight there we go just clipped off pull it back it moves a little bit but see where I am you see how high I am because if we take a look at that and lift it up there's a ridge in there and I was caught under the ridge and I set that up for this video and that you can actually tighten it down and it'll get solid and feel like you're down in there and the guys think that they can use the thread pressure or bolt pressure to pull the fitting down inside to pull it down that it's going to do this nice and beautifully no it doesn't always do that because your hose or your or your metal line sometimes holds you off tension so you're not straight in all angles so what you have to do is you got to pull this back get this on there and physically place it inside let's get down there and go all the way down keep wiggling it wiggle it around there and you're like that 360 degrees all the way around you're not like this you're not like where one side is down and one side is up and then you, you can say oh I'm gonna use the threads to bring that down no you don't do that that's how you nick o-rings and they don't always leak right away uh, under a compression it'll hold the pressure will go up and say only when it hits 200 psi it leaks after 200 psi but anything under 200 psi it doesn't leak when you perform a certain kind of nick or damage on an o-ring uh, some guys don't understand that so let's get that nice and flat and then we get this over there and it, now that I'm doing this with one hand one hand should be holding this pushing down so when you're looking at it from 360 degrees it's flat all the way there's no wobble in any direction so but because I don't have two hands here the other is on the phone I can't do that but I'm going down I think I'm going down or I'm already having a problem because I'm using one hand instead of two no I could feel it I felt it jump down the shoulders I actually had a clicking sound in my hand I actually felt that while I was holding the phone and you could see that little see that little motion there you should not have this wobble back and forth this is why the other hand is supposed to hold this find the middle point 
the backwards, like you know, the X, Y, and Z axis. So you're supposed to find the center point and push down with one hand and then take your other hand and tighten down. You're not using the fastener to pull down the fitting. That is how O-rings get damaged. That's how the aluminum shoulders get damaged. That's how threads get stripped. And that's how O-rings, you know, it's just a bad deal altogether. So now I'm getting there. I take, I come back here. Now I should never have to come back and do this because one hand was always on one fitting while the other hand should easily go all the way down with no resistance. And if you catch any resistance anywhere, you just wiggle it a little bit back and forth, forwards, backwards, left, right. See if you could pull up or down as you're constantly taking it down by hand, not with the tool. And if it goes down, that means the inside of this shoulder is resting on the back side of that shoulder. So the inside there where you see that fat piece on the nut comes down and contacts the back side of that shoulder right there and takes it down smooth and flat 360 degrees around. And so that one is ready. Now I could put a hand wrench on there and slowly tighten it up while you hold this in position. You do not tighten this up <coughs> and allow it to swing because you cause galling of the metal as one metal scrapes on another and you could damage the o-ring. You want it to go in straight and flat. You want this to tighten down straight and flat so there's no rotation motion. All right, see you guys on the next setup.